Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you how to play the Sky Boat Song. The Sky Boat Song is a beautiful Scottish song or tune written in the 1870s and uh, it tells the story of Bonnie Prince Charlie escaping from Ben Becula uh, just off the west coast of Scotland to the Isle of Skye after the Battle of Culloden in 1746. And um, it has words which, which explain this story, but Robert Louis Stevenson, when he heard these words, he thought that's, a, that's an amazing song. It tells an important story. I'm going to rewrite the words. So he had another go at the words. And uh, he has one verse. Uh, Mull was astern, rum on the port, egg on the starboard bow. Glory of youth glowed in his soul. Where is that glory now? <laughs> which I think is wonderful. I'm going to give you two versions of this tune, a very simple tune, and, and it is simple, and then an ornamented version, and I think the ornaments make a lot of difference. It gives you that Scottish feel, that folky feel. Okay, so, with no ornaments, one, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs> So it consists of three parts, um, the, what you might call the verse, which is 16 bars, followed by the, where it goes into E minor, which you might call the chorus, or you might not, and then back to the first uh, 16 bars again. Um, if you're playing it solo, then uh, it's not very satisfactory playing like that. Um, you can't hear the chords very clearly, and uh, the ornamentation is very much lacking. So, um, there are various things you can do with this. Uh, first of all, either drones or double stops uh, will help quite a lot. So in the first line, you could do just the drone on the first note, or you could drone all the way through the first line. I think that's probably too much droning, but uh, if you play through the whole thing uh, trying drones, you'll find out which bits you like best. And if you're not clear about what drones are and how they work, I do have a video explaining that. Uh, we've got one particularly good drone right at the end of the B section. If you put a A uh, first finger under the last chord, when you go back to the beginning, uh, you lift that first finger off and you have an open G drone. That's really nice. Um, there are various places where you can do hammer-ons. A hammer-on being a, uh, you finger the note below uh, the melody note and you hammer on the melody note on top of that. Or like, or like 
that. There's lots of places you can do that, and I've just suggested a few of them here. Uh, we've got several um, double cuts. A cut is where you add a grace note above the melody note. So if that's your melody note, you might do or and if you put two notes on like that, that's a double cut. So again, I've suggested places where you can do these, but there are lots of other places. So let's go through it again. This time I'll use the backing and I will play the uh, ornaments more or less as written. It's important with these ornaments that you make them subtle so um, it's usual to slur the ornament into the melody note and make it as light and as quick as possible. What you really don't want is or even worse. And you can put these in where, wherever and whenever you like and you can swap them around and it's the ability to put them in and take them out that I think is more important than learning or memorizing an actual set of ornaments on a tune. Um, thank you for watching. If you would like a copy of the sheet music for this then do subscribe and send me an email. If you would like to join me on Patreon that will very much help me to keep these videos coming and you will get hold of all of my um, PDFs in one go and that's around 400 of them. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.